Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we now know who wears the pants in the Kamala Harris Doug Emhoff household. And, well, it's more like a pantsuit. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you are not watching us on YouTube, please follow that link in the lower right hand corner, or the address rather. It's youtube.com forward slash ad explain America. And when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. You know, this election is a lot about culture. It's not just about left versus right. It's about good versus evil. Yes, I've said that before. But it's also about culture. It's about manhood and womanhood. What is manhood? What is womanhood? Now, people like you and I, we believe in traditional roles. That's not to say women shouldn't work or, or things like that. That's crazy. My mother owned her own real estate office. Before that, she owned a delicatessen. She worked hard her whole life. May she rest in peace. I believe that women are super smart, and I think they're better at certain things than men are, period. Just the way it is. I think men are better at other things that women aren't better at. Traditionally, do some men break the mold? Do some women break the mold? Of course. But traditionally, God gave us gender roles. He gave, God gave them to us. We didn't invent them. And I think that's where the disconnect is here with us and the Democrats. Because we believe that God gave them to us, along with our rights. They believe the state does that. And one of the things that will be on the ballot is the definition of manhood. See, Trump presents and J.D. Vance present as alpha males. Guys who take charge, guys who are in control. But Doug Emhoff, that's Kamala Harris's husband in case you didn't know. And I wouldn't blame you if you didn't know because he kind of sleeks in the background behind her skirt or her pantsuit. He's what Jen Psaki called the new definition of masculinity. A pansy. Who apparently has been accused of a slapping his ex-girlfriend, impregnating his nanny. Yeah. The new definition of masculinity, guys. Yeah. Sexually harassing people at his old job. He's been accused of that too. New definition of manhood. But in their new definition of masculinity, the woman's in charge. And the man dutifully follows behind like a little puppy dog and says, yes, dear. Yes, dear. And I got to tell you guys, and I don't mean to insult anybody, but when I see that, I just, my blood boils. I hate, I cannot stand the man that does that. Cannot stand the man that follows behind. And yes, dear, whatever you say, dear. Well, that's Doug Emhoff to a T. I want you to watch this video of him recalling the story of when he found out Joe Biden exited the race and how his wife basically berated him for not being by his phone when she called. Take a look at this and then let me know what you think in the comments. You said that communication is key, but she couldn't communicate with you immediately to tell you that Joe Biden had stepped down, correct? You were busy in, in spin, spin class, right? I that was right. So it it it, it was I was in L.A. Uh, it was uh, during that weekend when all the pl the planes were, were down because of the software glitch. So I, I had to spend an extra day in L.A. I decided to go to a cycling class with some friends and it was an hour hour class and we were just chit chatting. I had my phone in the Secret Service car, so I didn't ha have my phone. And then my uh, friend's partner just sh showed me his phone with the letter from President Biden. And I'm like, gotta go and just ran into the car and there was my phone literally like you could feel the the steam seven or eight messages all with you know where are you call kamala call kamala and it was a one minute or less conversation which started with where the f were you i need you right now and basically get to work and i did you run out sweaty are you wearing the tight biking shorts do you have those uh, clackety clack spikes on the whole thing or I, I i try not to do the tight biking shorts so i just do like the long long old school you know nike basketball shorts which probably aren't great for spin class and but i was drenched in sweat i took the clackety clack shoes off but and the car wasn't exactly on the curb so it was still a couple of hundred yards of old guy half running trying to get to that car to to jump on the phone and and get in the mix